Well, Sony's not messing around when it comes to Spider-Man. As we know, it's opening July 2nd now, all around the world, but China gets it much earlier, on June 28th. Now let's talk about why this is being uh, done like this, and what this means, and why Sony, particularly Sony, why this is important to them. So as most of you know by now, China is becoming the number one market for films. And certainly for Sony, there is something important in China that they have to uh, try to test the waters with, right? We know that Venom, yes, it was received pretty good when it comes to box office around the world, but China is what saved that movie. Same thing with Aquaman. China is slowly becoming more important with every big blockbuster, right? It can make it or break it at this point. So this makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, you know, Spider-Man... They don't know where it's going to land. There's projections out there on where it could go. There's projections out there that it could be, you know, on par, if not a little bit more than Homecoming. So they don't know. Testing it out in China, far ahead of the worldwide release, gives them an indicator of how much they can kick up the marketing right as the movie's coming out in the United States. If they see huge numbers in China, they'll know to focus more on China advertising, considering, hey, the film's doing good over here, right? Focus more on that because the United States will balance out around the same as long as, you know, they do the same type of advertising budget. Same with the UK. So they're really trying to test the Chinese market to understand how big of an impact it's going to have. And realistically, China, I think, kind of needs this because if they get it and it's one of those, you know, 12 movies that they allow per year there out of a foreign territory, it's a big deal, right? If it comes out in China and it's not doing so good, Sony will know, okay, the next movie, then we don't need to really push it in China. We can put more advertising budget elsewhere around the world. So this is kind of important. And going off of that, you have to understand that Venom, nobody saw that it was going to be that big. So can Spider-Man compete with Venom in China? That's, that's really what this is about. And... Honestly, I'll be shocked because I don't think it's going to do Venom numbers. I really don't. Uh, China likes a certain type of movie, and Venom was that. I don't know if Homecoming and Far From Home are what the Chinese market looks for. I guess uh, June 31st, a second. I just say by like July 4th, we'll know if China is the make it or break it for Far From Home. 